Hello and welcome to another macro video. Uh, today we're looking at a new system I worked out for backing up your macros to make sure you don't lose them. Uh, there are two main programs uh, but there's a, a third one because Macs are quite the same as PCs. So the basic idea is that you want to save all your macros so if I open up Visual Basic and select all of the macros I can copy that and then I can save those in a word file so let's create a new word file and save them in there this will take quite a while so I'll switch off for a second right it's got there so um, what we've got here is all the macros um, I've got rather a lot as you can see um, so there's uh, yes well anyway uh, so we run the uh, macros all backup program so that's macros all backup there it is run and it's what it's doing is getting all the macro keystroke assignments and it's found uh, 231 of them okay so we'll do that and if you uh, at the top here it's got a possible um, file name that you could use so if you use save as it offers you that uh, dated file name so that if you save it today and then save it in a week's time uh, you can get um, uh, versions of the same of your macros there we go so I've saved that um, and if you look down through the macros to find the restore one uh, macros restore which is down here somewhere here we go um, so within the macros restore macro uh, the backup backup program has placed the a set of of macro names with the keystroke assignments for each one and and it's sorted them alphabetically so to make it easier to find them if you do want to check through um, what has been assigned to uh, any particular macro okay so um, now if something goes wrong such as uh, if you do something stupid like not noticing that all of the macros are selected um, we've got lots of macros at the moment here as you can see uh, if they're all selected and I accidentally press backspace uh, then they will all disappear in a minute will they let me backspace. Yep, I was thinking about it. Yep, they've all gone. So I've lost all my macros. Um, so I can copy um, my uh, backup file, select it all, copy, and then paste those into Visual Basic. So there we go. And we've now got lots of macros back again. But unfortunately, what's happened is that we will have lost all the keystroke assignments. So that's where the restore program comes in. So if I just close that. So with this file still open, that's the important thing, uh, I will run the macros all restore program. So that's macros all restore, there it is, and run that and it says it's restored 231 macro key assignments okay and hopefully we should be back to normal so I should have things like uh, my s switching of words or I don't know any any macros I've got in there uh, so uh, we've restored the keystrokes and we're back to normal so that's about it except uh, that as I said if the for Mac users um, there's a separate one because you've got different uh, se uh, sets of control keys, control and command and whatever. And before I go, I'll just uh, show you a, a fun thing I discovered today, and that is, you know, the uh, insert symbol. I find this very difficult to uh, use. You're trying to find something and you're having to sort of scroll through to find them. And today I accidentally uh, dragged the corner of this window and lo and behold you can get a socking great big display of all the keys so that does make life a lot easier trying to find them 
So, I thought I'd just share that with you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.